Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Hager number 3930 strike with a plastic dust box. This is shown in the uh, 2060 satin chrome finish. And this is just a typical strike for a deadbolt, is, is, is what this is. And as a result, it's going to be two and three quarter tall. So that's typical for deadbolt. The uh, thing to be really sure of that this is inch and an eighth. You want to be sure, certainly if it's a steel frame, that your frame is prepped for an inch and an eighth wide strike. They're not all like that, but most uh, all grade one deadbolts I'm aware of are certainly inch and an eighth or heavy duty. Okay, This is important because you're going to get a dust box with it. And sometimes it's this dust box that contractors really want to get their hands on because of what it's used for. When that's properly installed into a wood frame, you wouldn't see the mortising or the machining in the back of the frame with your dust box. Okay? So that's really a two-step operation that you get there. A couple of screws are included to keep it all attached. Combination screws, whether it's a wood frame or a metal frame, this combo screw will work with. Uh, give you an idea of the overall depth. And there are two templates below this video, links to a metal and to a wood template, which is really handy. So about an inch and a sixteenth. Let's look at those templates quickly to see if there's anything of import on them. That metal template is very typical if you're a hollow metal manufacturer or you're someone who's ordering a door made for this, you might want to um, you know, include that template if you're having a frame made. The wood template, same sort of concept gives you the depth of where you need to be. Very important that you locate, of course, that center line appropriately. You can see in the lower right-hand section, uh, giving you the Y dimension, uh, which is a function of door thickness. Strike location must be changed relative to the thickness of the door silencer or weather stripping when used. Uh, quite frankly, what I like to do is um, something more uh, akin to uh, getting the deadbolt installed and actually throwing the latch bolt and making it strike the frame. Um, lots of tips and tricks to go about doing that, you know, uh, that people use. I put magic marker on the end of a latch bolt, just had it mark the frame, or I've got a tool, a marking tool, that I can insert into the 2 and an eighth hole, push it through the 1 inch cross bore or the 1 inch pull, uh, hole for the deadbolt and mark the frame that way. Um, it's pretty critical to get that li uh, lined up very well because there's not a lot of margin. So, you know, you're going to have to know the distance between the face of the door and the jam when it's closed, uh, which is important. Very common uh, sort of installation. You know, and if you don't have the, you know, um, maybe a marking tool, you get that door into the closed position and you're going to take your dimension from the face of the door to the face of your stop. It'll be something, eighth of an inch, whatever the case is. And then you basically take half of your door thickness, but you're going to want to make sure you've got an accurate door thickness. Uh, because what happens is uh, a wood door, an inch and three quarter wood door, it's not 1.75, it's 1.71 or something in that range. And that's really where sometimes getting a little technical with the ability to measure is very handy. Um, anyway. I think I've beleaguered that point. Um, there is something that I would take um, uh, you know, probably uh, issue with is they've got a reference of a what is apparently a thickness to measure uh, to uh, mortise for this and they've got a quarter inch dimension total for the face of the strike and the dust box or 3 16 otherwise I like using that same tool to get really accurate to know what my mortise depth is so when I measure all of that you know I see that I'm at 0 0.138 you know I would want you know I would want that mortise to be flush not so that the strike is inset I wouldn't want that at all so I get into a position where you know you determine what your thickness is you might allow a significantly minor amount 15 thousandths set your router to that test it, test your depth, and go about it that way. Anyway, uh, it is not unusual for people to just buy deadbolt strikes and uh, 
dust boxes, you're going to be repurposing uh, deadbolts. I have uh, situations where I've got uh, landlords with multi-unit buildings that will do new installation of new doors and frames well, the frame has been destroyed because the fire department came in and kicked it all in. They don't need a whole deadbolt because the door hardware is still good. Hence, the possibility of needing just a, a, a strike and a dust box. That's available in several different finishes, as you can see. Bright uh, brass, chrome, bronze, polished satin, oil rubbed as well. The name Hager is synonymous with all things builder's hardware, architectural hardware related. Uh, not only lock sets, door closers, exit devices. Uh, trim and auxiliary hardware, weather stripping, sliding door hardware, aluminum continuous geared hinges, but it's their namesake, Hager Hinge. That's what they're really most known for. Commercial hinges, architectural hinges, residential hinges, etc. If you have any questions on the Hager 3930 strike plate and dust box or any other Hager product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.